Okay, now we're laughing too hard. That's right. Hey, what's up, Long Beach? I'm kind of sad that I moved out, but I'm just in my mental, so it's not there. Uh, I was going to do some new material, but then I got really intimidated by all these awesome artists. So. <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't know if you guys know this about me. Uh, it took me a long time to figure it out, but I can explain. Um, I'm like, like black. <laughs> but, but here's why it took me so long to figure out, because I, I don't fit any of the stereotypes, okay? Like, I, I, I love to surf, totes. I, um, so another surfer in the room, exactly, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I shop at Hollister, <laughs> and I play kumbaya on my guitar, so I mean, my only link to my blackness is the fact that I'm from Long Beach and my hair, like, this took me an hour and a half, it doesn't make any sense. So you can, probably understand my confusion as a child. I'd be on the playground and my fellow brown children would come up to me and um, in their broken English, bless their hearts. Um, they would say to me, why do you talk white? Uh, and I'd be like, whatever do you mean? And they were like, no, we're black, we speak Ebonics. And so perplexed, I went home to my mother, and over the tea and talk she had ready for me, because she knows what I like, uh, I said, Mama, what are Ebonics? And she said, well, it's, it's a language many black people use to communicate, but it's improper English, so it's not allowed in the house. So I was doing from childhood. Uh, I mean, like, even today, people call me bougie, and frankly, I don't know what my butt has to do with any of this, but um, my one black friend says that if I eat more soul food, Soul food, maybe it'll grow, so I've been praying a lot. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, dating is dating is hard. Fellas, you need to learn how to ask a woman out. Let me tell you, okay? Look, I, and I don't know what this death stare is, that how that's working for you. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Okay, look, now I'm walking my Yorkie Poo in the park, all right? And I see this dude on the corner, like, <laughs> Come on. I mean, time is hard. I'm gonna name my kids poverty and recession. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, 